Tim's workshop here. Hey, I'm up with the uh, RV, uh, getting it ready to go on vac uh, go on a trip down south. But uh, um, wanted to catch this, uh, capture this video on uh, the circuit breakers and how you know if you have a bad circuit breaker on your RV. So let me turn the camera around and I'll explain. Uh, I'll explain it to you. Okay, so this is the uh, 30 20 amp breaker. The 30 is your main breaker, and the 20 is uh, your air conditioner. And then the rest of these are uh, 15 uh, amp, which are for lights and uh, etc. throughout your RV. So this one here, it uh, I didn't know it, but the, the every time I turned on the AC, it would pop the circuit breaker at some parks and not at others, and it would run for a while, then pop, and, and I really didn't know what was going on. So um, I, I researched it and found out that uh, these circuit breakers do go bad, and when they go bad, the temperature on them uh, goes way up. So uh, I got my infrared here. I actually have it hooked to the park. Uh, 30 amp uh, system right now and uh, right now see that it's at 91.5 that is normal even the 15 amp uh, is 93 and 95 okay so this 30 20 amp uh, once I got this uh, meter said it was hundred and seventy degrees hundred and sixty so <laughs> it's like that's why it was uh, popping so I replaced it and now it's at you know in the in the 90s like it's supposed to be with the power on of course I don't have everything running I just have uh, have it hooked up to the RV right now but last summer uh, we took off the air condition worked uh, fine um, with the new breaker on didn't have any problems and then we got to the last park of our trip and it was really hot it was like 90 97 degrees out it was a super warm day and uh, we had everything on we had a tv on lights on uh, and we had the air conditioning on air airports right next to us so <laughs> gets a little noisy in this park sometimes it's kind of cool though you get to see the bottom of the aircraft really well <laughs> So uh, at the park, it popped, and I'm going, what the heck, you know, now what's wrong? So I took my meter out, looked at it, yeah, it was still 92, and 90, yeah, I'm going, well, the breaker's fine, why is this thing popping? So I went to the park's um, cover, um, circuit breakers, and I put this meter on the park's um, 30 amp, right, which we run off, and they also have like a, a 1510 uh, amp breaker as well 20 amp but uh, we run off the 30 for everything you know for the RV so I put the meter on and it was like 180 degrees I'm going what the heck so I shut it off I went down to the park manager and they said uh, oh yeah yeah when in the park everybody's using that and I go no it's your breaker I, I've done research on this and your breaker's bad and he says well the maintenance guy won't be here till tomorrow he said you shut it off right and I said yeah he said give it a little while to cool down and then turn it back on again and I go okay well how long is that gonna last and he says I've told people to do that and I've never heard back from them and I'm going oh okay so I shut the main breaker off at the park, let it cool down for, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes, flipped it back on, we didn't have another problem after that. I'm sure it was getting hot, but not hot enough to pop the circuit. So anyway, I wanted to make this video for quite a while, so I wanted to show you. And uh, uh, to get to the new breaker, you uh, make sure your power is disconnected, take this cover off, and then it's just two wires going in here and the 20 amp wire is smaller than the 30 amp wire 
It's because when I got this breaker, my 30 was on this side and my 20 was on this side. And it's just a reverse. It doesn't matter. What matters is you have the right wire going to it. So just remember the 30 amp wire is larger than the 20 amp. All right. That's it. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and uh, please subscribe and uh, leave comments. Thanks.